Okay, uh, let me just log in here a minute, and there we go. Uh, right, my name, by the way, is uh, Muffin. Hello. Uh, excuse me one moment, i just got to do this, and maybe double-click there. Right, smashing, Pinterest. Pinterest is a brand new website uh, that allows you to create what they call it online pin boards. You go to www.pinterest.com and then look at this. All of these are pin boards that people have made on topics that they're interested in. Let's have a look. This one's food. Lovely. Yeah, right. Okay, so Rhonda's made a pin board here uh, on all sorts of things. DIY creations, hairstyles. Uh, recipe ideas, lovely, drinks, holidays. Okay, so I've clicked on the one for recipe ideas and she's collected together loads of stuff on, uh, oh, look at that. Uh, oh, excuse me. Uh, she collected together loads of different recipe ideas so that she can store kind of things that she likes and wants to go back and have a look at. Oh, look at this one, cookie dough. Hello. So, all she did was she went to the website that had the cookie dough thing, did a couple of clicks, and then immediately it was pinned on her Pinterest board and she could go back at any point, nice and easy, just with a click, and go and see the uh, cookie dough recipe. Go oh, look at that. Ooh. The idea is that you are going to create a pin board for a member of your family, and it's going to be like a present. You're going to be able to collect together loads of things that they really like. So it'll be pictures of things, it'll be little snippets of video maybe, it could be recipes, it could be all sorts of things. And now the way I started in doing this, I thought I'm gonna do one about my mum. And I'm gonna go round first and I'm gonna have a word with some people and uh, figure out what she's really interested in, what she really likes. So, went over and asked Woody first. Woody, what do you reckon? Cats. Yeah, cats, right. Well, that makes sense. I'm going to get my little camera out. I've only got small arms, so I'm going to take some pictures on my camera phone. It's simple. It can get pictures under the computer nice and easy. And look at this. There are cats everywhere in this house. Lovely. And then I thought, what else is she particularly into? Her garden. The garden? Definitely. Definitely. Now leave me alone. All right, all right. Right, so the garden. Took pictures of some, uh, some daffodils. Looking lovely. Look at that. Beautiful. There's another cat. They're everywhere. Uh, a gnome. I took pictures of a little fairy. Look at that. A, a thing, whatever that is. Once I had a load of photos, I put them onto my computer, which just meant plugging a cable into my little camera phone. Then I thought, right, I'm going to put them onto Pinterest and start making one of these pin boards. At the moment on Pinterest, you've got to request an invite, which means you type in your email address and they send you through then an invitation to uh, log in. Uh, and once you are logged in, you've got to create a board. So I'm making one called Mum. Click Create Board, smash in. Now, first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to edit board. I'm going to type in a bit of a description about what this board is about. I've called it Mum, and I'm going to call it, say that it's about it's a board of a board of interesting things! Exclamation mark. Uh, and then I'm going to put it in a category. I'm going to put it in people. That makes sense. Probably should put it in pets. Save settings. Okay, so a board of interesting things, but there's nothing on my board at the moment. So I'm going to add something. I'm going to uh, I'm going to upload a pin because I've already got all the pictures on my computer. Nice and simple. Just browse. Look at this. These are all the pictures I took. Loads of them. Uh, and right, so look at that. Absolutely loads. So I'm going to select one, click open, and then it gives me a little preview. Look at that. It's a smiling cat uh, or, or a laughing cat. I'm going to, yeah, laughing cat. I'm going to call it uh, laughing cat. Brilliant. Then click pin it. And there we go. Our first image on the pin board. Wallop. Okay, let's add another. Uh, yeah, that one will do. What's this one? It's some kind of cat mat. Uh, that'll do as a name. Cat mat. Pin it. Brilliant. Right, now I'm not going to inflict on you me pinning thousands of pictures, so I've just skipped through 
I'm going to skip to one of the last ones now. It's a picture. It's a picture of a fairy in a pot. Look at that. I don't know how I come up with these names. Brilliant. So I've pinned loads of different ones now. I've just skipped through a little bit. And now if I take you back to the board, let's have a look what we got. Oh, lovely. Look at that. Loads of different pictures, all little names. So these are all pins. We've got a load of pins now on stuff that mum's interested in. Thing is, you can do loads of stuff with Pinterest and you can do stuff online with it as well. So that if you see something that interests you on a website, you can pin it. So I'm going to go into this bit called goodies and uh, start with a pin it button, which uh, I'm using Firefox browser. And I think that's like the recommended one for this because it's nice and easy. I just drag that little pin it button up there and look, it's appeared up there in the top left. Or I can pop it in my bookmarks folder and it appears in there. Now, nice and simple. That took me like two seconds. Now, when I go onto a website, if I have a look, let's have a look for a recipe. She likes bread pudding. Who done? All right. So we go to BBC Good Food, smash in. Now, if I click that little pin it button, it finds all the pictures on the page. I'm going to click on the one of the bread pudding. I'm going to type in bread pudding recipe. And that has now been added to my pin board. Okay. We should uh, maybe come up with a couple of other recipes as well. Maybe you don't feel like bread pudding that day. What about teriyaki chicken? Smash in. Give that a click. And look at this. Right. Okay. Teriyaki chicken. Delicious. Who doesn't like that? Click pin it. It finds all the pictures on the site. I click on the right one and type in teriyaki chicken recipe. Pin it. Success. Brilliant. Makes you feel good about yourself. Now, if I go back to my pin board, I've not only got pictures of cats in the garden, I've got pictures of food. Look at that. Teriyaki chicken. I click on it. Comes up with that nice little picture. Bowl of teriyaki chicken. But the best thing, when I click on that, it takes me back to the original recipe. How good is that? Right. So I got thinking at this point, wonder what else you can do. And I realised you can put videos on your pin board too. Maybe I could put some music on a pin board. So I could go on YouTube, look for some bands. What sort of music does she like? So I went and asked, uh, went and asked Pushkin first. Go and ask Woody. Mum's been helping him with his music. She likes the monkeys. Yeah, yeah, definitely the monkeys. Leave me alone, I've got practice. So I went back online and uh, had a look and... Uh, I do a bit of a search, YouTube search, and uh, have a look for maybe Daydream Believer from the Monkeys. Classic. So, once that had loaded up, just pause it a moment. Now, if I click the pin it button, look at this. Finds all the pictures on the page again. Click on the one I want. Pin this. And then just type in Monkeys Daydream Believer. Pin it. Amazing. You can pin videos as well. But, you know, not just music videos and, and music. What about, like, stuff of the garden, those little sun catchers and things made out of stained glass? Let's have a look for that. Right, pause there. And... Pin it. I think you're getting the idea of the process by now. It involves clicking the pin it button and then typing in something that makes sense. It's not that complicated. Right, uh, uh, stained glass sun catchers. Success, pinned. Right, uh, let's have a look at our pin board. And look at this. Now we've got food and pictures of the garden and recipes. We've got little videos, how to make things, music. We've got all sorts of stuff. We're building up now a lovely little collage that we can send to mum as a present. And it's just all sorts of stuff that's about her, related to her, things that she likes, like bread pudding and blossom. Then I had a brainwave. I've got a YouTube account and I could put my own videos on there. So I could get some footage, maybe mum in the garden doing something, and I could use something like iMovie to cut it together. And that could be pictures and it can be a video as well. I'm not going to show you how to use iMovie because there is already a brilliant iMovie tutorial online as part of the Family Connections project. It's on the uh, Family Connections website, www.familyconnections.org.uk forward slash about forward slash your dash resources. And it's got really, really in-depth tutorials there on how to use iMovie. 
So uh, I've used it and I bashed together a little video and it's got pictures, it's got um, still pictures, it's got video clips of mum doing a bit of gardening. Look lovely. Arty pictures, arty, arty. Very nice, bit of raking. Bit more raking. I put some music on that video using another bit of software called GarageBand which is really easy. It comes bundled with uh, the whole iLife suite. They've got it on the computers at the engine room and it lets you just kind of search for bits and bobs of music and little loops and riffs uh, depending on kind of moods or instruments. And then it's literally just kind of, you can, you can get as complicated as you want, but you can just drag them over and put them together. Really, really simple. So I'll just quickly bash something together. Let's make a bit of a masterpiece. So I can use that as the uh, the music in the background. You just literally drag bits and bops together. You don't have to know anything about music whatsoever. And then you make an absolute masterpiece or a mess, but absolute masterpiece in this case. Other option, there's loads of websites out there that offer royalty-free music. Uh, one of them in particular, www.incompetech.com. Really, really good free music for you to use on your videos. He just asks that you uh, give a bit of publicity and a bit of thanks and credit where credit's due. But you can search by all different sorts of genres, by different fields, and then you can just download tunes that you like. So if I uh, select something, let's have Bright. Bright seems right for the garden. And then it comes up with all these different options and you can play them, you can download them, you can have a good listen. Let's download Sunshine, and that's the one I've used on my little video of Mum in the Garden. Brilliant. It means I don't have to faff around making my own bit of music because I don't have much talent in that area. And then once I've made my video, I go onto YouTube and I can just upload it. Nice and simple. You've probably all done this before, but if you haven't, it is not difficult. Even a cat can manage it. I've sped up the process a little bit because you didn't want to sit there watching that bar creep up to 100%. Type in a bit of a description. Blah de blah de blah. Music by Incompetech.com. Save all that. And then my video is online. It's on YouTube. Smashing. Let's have a look. Ah, oh, brilliant. Looks even better. Right. Now, because it's on YouTube, I already know I can pin it because pinning it's really easy from YouTube. All I do, uh, go up to the pin it button, give it a click, while up, look at that, pick a picture, that'll do, and type in, what am I going to call it, uh, she's in the garden, uh, so I call it in the garden, easy, pin it, success, I am a success, brilliant, nice and easy, look at that. That was no trouble whatsoever. I go back to my pin board, and there it is, in the garden. So I made my own little video and put it on there. As well as my own video, I've pinned videos on of tutorials, I've pinned videos on of uh, music, of a bit of a play, I've got food recipes, I've got pictures of the garden, I've got pictures of real cats, pictures of fake cats, I've got all sorts of stuff. And it's just a pin board that's all about mum and the things that she likes. So, yeah, I'll send her through this as a bit of a present, bound to make her smile, and I can show her how easy it is to actually make this herself and keep adding to it. You can Facebook like it, you can send other people towards it, they can all be adding stuff to it. Amazing, lovely and simple. Pinterest.